Today's dives were actually gonna be on an artificial reef site that was created back in 2015 in collaboration with Eglin Air Force Base. Specifically, these are a bunch of large concrete structures that are used as ordnance targets. So once the ordnance has made contact with the target, it's no longer usable by Eglin Air Force Base and they need to dispose of it. The relationship that we have with them allows us to take that material and deploy it offshore um, at no cost to Eglin Air Force Base um, and just a minimal deployment cost on our end. So it's a really, really unique opportunity. Uh, this particular set that we're going to today is about 70 to 80 feet of water, depending on where you are on the reef. Uh, there's quite a bit of relief and you never really know what you're gonna see there. I've dove it about a dozen times now. Sometimes you see a resident Goliath blooper, uh, red snapper, gag grouper. Um, you really, really never know. So on concrete, it's actually uh, very good for, for a lot of organisms to grow on it. You get a lot of sponges, gargonians, um, but you have a lot of your small creatures. You find a lot of octopus, you find a lot of blennies, starfish, crabs. It's, it really is a, a pretty unique reef site. So once the, the target has been um, destroyed, um, it provides a lot of complexity to that concrete. Normally that concrete would be pretty uh, flat, but once that ordinance makes contact with it, it, it opens it up quite a bit and allows a lot of little hiding spots for some of your smaller fishes. Each target structure ranges any, anywhere from 2,000 to about 10,000 pounds. At this particular site, there's about 900 tons of, of concrete target material that's been deployed. Since 2015, we've conducted four similar projects, uh, four artificial reef sites ranging from 500 to 1,000 tons of concrete. Um, we have about another 1,000 tons of concrete that we're working to deploy over the next year, um, and hopefully this collaboration uh, continues. Mm -hmm.